Peace and blessings. This is your boy Tyrone Muhammad, a.k.a. Muhammad the Mortician, number one mortician in the nation. Listen to me, guys. I don't care what city, what state, what country you're in, what rural area you're in, man. Number one mortician in the nation. Not because I can make you look pretty in life, and I, I can do that do pretty well. I'm like, one of the, man, listen, when it comes to reconstruction, when it comes to restorative art, when it comes to taking that head that's been blown over, man, and making you look pretty again, man, to give your last farewell to your family, man. Like, it's your boy, man. But I don't want to be known for just that. I want to be known, man, for saving lives. And, I, and you know, I, I was thinking, like, man, like, this message that we had put out, man, the aftermath of being about that life, that video that was on YouTube that exploded, man. Like, like on Facebook, I looked today, over 3 million views, man. 300 million and 35,000 is still counting that you guys have shared that, that video over 34,000 times. You understand what I'm saying? You shared that video over 34,000 times. So that, that gives me hope. Like when people don't think like, like when the message and the movement ain't going nowhere, man, when you look at it, how people just tapping in, man, hitting that button share and like, man, making that video is going viral, man. So from that video, man, from that video, man, we were able to get a call today. Like, we got a call a day from Brother Tony Johnson, man. The brother called me up, and he was like, yo, is this Brother Muhammad? I was like, yes, sir. He was like, brother, man, that message, man. I heard that video, man. He said, I've been listening. He said, I sent it to my mother. I'm like, mom, you got to hear this dude, man. There's a funeral director that's trying to tell you to stop killing. He, trying, he don't want your money. He don't want the blood on your hands. So he was like, brother, listen, I got one of the top-notch podcast stations in New Jersey, brother. And listen, I want to give you your own show. I'm like, me? I'm like, I never did podcast. He's like, do you know how to speak? I said, yes, sir. He was like, well, that, that's all you need to do, brother. So he said, just come into the studio and show you around, and this is what you got to do. Man, I did that, man, and it went well. He said, now, Monday, April 16th, listen to me, April 16th, I'm on the air. <laughs> like, guys, listen to me. I'm on the air April 16th, 2018. That's next week, a few more days, man. So what I need you guys to do, man, he has an app. The app to get on and listen to me on the radio, on the podcast, man. That that message, man, is going to travel all around the country, man. And I looked at his his listings of his followers, man. Like, this message is going to be reached around the globe, brother. But those guys that have been following me, man, I want you to come along the journey with me. So what I need you to download the app. So I need you to go to the Google Play and type in the plug. You see it? I need you to type in the plug right there. And so, listen, the you iPhone users, that's for the Androids, but the iPhone users, you got a different one. I need you to download the app as well. So when you go to the Apple Store, I need you to type in the Plug XM. You see it right there, the Plug XM. I need you guys to go ahead, man, and download that app and get on, man, the podcast and listen to me. You guys can call in, talk to your boy, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Because, listen, I do realize as a mortician, man, we all going to die. And that's the reality of it, man. We all going to die. So you just going to lay down, man, and just give up? And you're not going to tap into your seed of greatness? God has given all of us a seed of greatness inside of us, man. But it's just like your cell phone, family. Before you can use it, what you got to do? You got to activate it. You got to activate the seed of greatness, man. I, I, I knew from a little child on, man, I had a message, man, that I was born with a gift, man, that I could speak very well, that I can go ahead, man, I had the gift to gab, that I can do, you know, like pretty much talk my way out of certain things, man. But I was using that back in the day, man, for wrongdoing. But, man, now it's time for right doing. So that's what I'm doing, man. So I'm asking you guys to tap into your seed of greatness. God only gives us these many hours. Listen to me. The Bible says that God gives us Three scores and ten. And by reason of mind, he gives us a ten. So we know that a score is ten. A score is twenty. And if you got three times twenty, that's sixty. And another ten, man, that's seventy years. And if you break those seventy years down to hours, that's six hundred and thirteen thousand two hundred hours to live. So I'm asking you, what are you waiting for? Why are you sitting back? Why are you not going out there, man, to try to get everything that you can get, man, that make your life better, number one? Right, it makes your life better, number one. And then it's, it trickles down, not just to you, to your children, to your grandchildren, to mom, because mom made an investment in you, man. Like my mother in the physical right now, she can't see where, how her son is to transform his life, man, from poverty to prosperity, from a high school dropout to a high school graduate, first male in my family to go to college, went to mortuary school, man, now I'm living a dream. Like pretty much for some of the lot of things that I want, man, because you know what I did, man? I didn't sit back and whine. When my dad got murdered when I was 12 years old, I didn't sit back and cry. When my mom died when I was 24, I didn't sit back and just whine. I could have every reason to go out there and start buck wilding, but no, man, listen to me. I grabbed hold, man, of the seed of greatness inside. I cried out to the most high God. I said, God, what is my seed? So you already know what it is. 
<laughs> God said, you already know what your talent is. You already, you already know the seed that I planted in you. And man, that was to speak to the world. So I'm telling you, you got a young mortician here, man, ready to challenge anybody out there, man. Invite a brother into your platform. Invite me through your doors, your churches, your mosques, your events, man. When it comes to killing, when it comes to anything to motivate your youth to greatness, man, it's your boy, Muhammad, the number one mortician, hands down. So don't forget, family. We've been getting another opportunity to take this message to another platform. So I'm asking you, family, the same ones that shared that video 34,000 times on Facebook that got over 3 million views as of today. I looked at it today. It was 3 million and 35,000 views, man. So it started from one view. Now we had 3 million. So shout out to my boy Kendrick, man, for sharing that video, man. He put like a a rocket jet in it, man. It just blew up on Facebook, right? So I thank all you guys for always, man, tuning in to see with Muhammad. I appreciate all the inboxes, the emails that you sent me telling me how it's transforming your children's lives. Like the message that I'm sending out, man, it's transforming your children's lives, man. We like we keeping your children from being a dead dummy. What's the more blessing of that, man? A young brother that man is out there gang banging, is out there doing wrong doing. He saying, listen, he like Muhammad. I don't want to be gutted open, man. He like, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want that wine decision, Muhammad. All I do, man, is that by your message, your message inspired me and let me know, man, listen, you came from poverty. And I didn't rob nobody. I didn't kill nobody. I didn't do none of that illegal stuff, man. I just went back to the grind. I went back to the basics. And it's just like your cell phone. Your cell phone don't work, family, if you don't activate it. So your seed of greatness is not going to work if you're not activating it. So if before you get in that casket, we all going to get in that casket. We all going to turn into maggot food. We all going to have to go through the transition, the natural process that breaks down the body. But before that happens, why God give you the opportunity to hear? Like the see, the smell, the taste, and the mind, man, to bring into existence, man, what you vision, man. So I vision nothing but greatness. I vision that, man, that this message is going to travel around the world. This podcast show, man, is going to transform lives that I didn't even touch yet. So I thank each and every one of you, man. And if you guys are public speakers, motivational speakers, man, inbox your boy. Let's build this great company. Let's build some, a platform, man. Not just for me. For us, we share it. And that's what it's all about. Because I, I, I'm not trying to do it for me. I, I'm good. If I never go ahead and make another video, get invited to a speaker again to get paid to speak, if I don't go ahead and get invited to speak because I want to speak for free, I'm good doing what I'm doing. But I don't want to touch you in death. I'd rather touch your life. So, man, I'm thank you. I'm honored. And always remember, if you ain't rocking with Muhammad the Mortician, you ain't rocking with the best. I'm out. Peace.